some of my subscriber asked me what is the range of my drone and i say up to 2 km but with it i wasn't satisfied i want to boost the range and there are so many method to do that like boost the power of a transmitter or find some global communication systems at least a research of 2 weeks i found the gps but i cannot directly access the gps and it can only be used for positioning systems to sort out those limitations i think why you cannot use the network as it is accessible but it will be a big difficult work at least for me by using this technology we can control the drone anywhere from the world where internet appears so here we'll use the internet instead of our transmitter and receiver the project will reduce our budget and it cost about couple of dollars Then I ordered a development board named Node MCU. Before using it, let's take introducing. Thus, board are called development board. You can make anything you want. Here are some GPIO pins and some power pins. You can control those pins as if input, then output method, or some else project. And the most amazing part is this development board has a inbuilt Wi-Fi module, so it can be controlled wirelessly. And there is also a app named Bylink which allows us to control the Node MCU wirelessly. Now my plan is if I put the Node MC on my drone I can use it as a receiver and the Bylink cap in our mobile as a transmitter and if I give input to the Bylink cap it will change its data to its server from there it will go to the Node MC's IP address and the Node MC will behave as per your programming but in this case the Node MC must have to be connected to the internet for this we cannot keep the router beside me otherwise it will not work after the drone goes out of range So I took a mini Wi-Fi router and pasted it on the drone and now the drone can we fly over the internet. Now our mobile is connected to the internet and the Node MCU also connected to the internet and the Bylink sends the data to the internet and which reaches the Node MCU via internet and the, all the works happens on the internet. So to use the Node MCU as a receiver we just have to do some programming and wiring. Connect the signal pin of your flight controller to the digital pins of the Node MCU. Here are some schematics you can download also in the description. So first open the Bylink app and create a new project and at the time you will get a mail from the Bylink and here is the auth token which is the address of your project we'll use it in programming and select the two joysticks and one wire and place them as your desired position again i am notifying that all the pictures and diagrams are and schematics you can download in the video description and now follow my steps some arc calibration on your flight controller as i am using apm 2.8 so i will open my mission planner and calibrate the arc if your any channel is reversed then correct some parameters if you do not know how to correct them you can find them in the video description but here is a thing that we have forgotten so let's put the wifi network router on the drone and make sure that it has internet connections 
and if you have yet any problem then go to the part where i told about the schematics Not only just flying, we can also change some modes up to 6 flight modes. And if you use the SBUS technology then it is capable to control 14 channels. And just enjoy the unlimited range of your drone. But be careful when using this technology because you can lost your control on your drone if any internet disturbance appears. So do not immerse the full communication system on this technology. Keep this technology beside your radio communication and it will improve your safety of a drone. So that's it. Hope you guys like the video then like the video, share the video and subscribe my channel. And now I'm gonna upload some new inventions so never you have seen in YouTube. So our next update will be 7 days apart till then bye bye.